brother and sister who went to the conference. Uh, well, this time you will hear from brother Sopet. Sopet, you have yeah. some to say? I do. And then, <laughs> then I will tell you some, something more. So everybody will talk and then we are going to surround that. Okay. Help him, Jesus. I'm not as good as my sister. She can just go off like that, but I have to write stuff down. Say it again. Go off. <laughs> That's not what I meant. You know what I meant. <laughs> we all have you know, takeaways from there, and to be, should be told, I probably didn't have a good attitude all the way there. Me probably said because I miss Chicago a lot. Yeah, that may be so because half of my family didn't go. Yes. And truth yes. was like originally we were supposed to be in Palm Coast, mm -hmm. so I was already committed, and then you know it was changed to. Okay, so these all these things, I was like, yeah, okay, I'll go. I'm committed. I don't even know exactly what they want from me. All I have is two fish to bring. So I brought my two fish. Okay? <laughs> two um, fingers. It sounds like I'm preaching, but this, this is my testimony of what I saw. Okay, In Psalms 133, I am preaching. I'm not going to lie. I'm preaching. Okay? <laughs> go ahead and share. In Psalms 133, it says, How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. Yes. It is like precious oil poured on the head. Running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down the collar of his robe. It is as dew of Hermon or fallen Mount Zion. For there the Lord bestowed his blessing Amen. in the life forevermore. Amen. This particular song was written by King David. This is one of the 15 songs called the Song of Ascend, Ascending, Ascending to Jerusalem. David wrote this. You have to appreciate when David wrote this. He was running from King Saul for most of his life. Okay, he's living in forests, brothers fighting among brothers. Finally, he, he, gets to, he gets to be a king. And yet seven more years from the other kings came, king came together to become one nation. And there is peace. So when you read this psalm, you can understand what it means like brothers come in unity mm -hmm. and peace. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It is like precious oil pouring on the head, running down the head, running down on the beard, running down Aaron's beard. You appreciate this when you really understand what he meant by this, okay? It is as dew of Hermon were falling in Mount Zion. For there the Lord bestow his blessing, life forevermore. Notice it says, good and pleasant when God, God's people dwell together in unity. Yes. Yes. As we ascended to Jonesboro, Georgia, we too dwell together among God's people. You know, dwelling and living means to eat together, sleeping together under one roof. Sharing bathrooms, <laughs> doing each other's laundry, and even folding someone else's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, me. Thank you, me. I'll it on that. I wasn't thinking one day I saw the laundry that night. And you know, my anyway, we're dwelling together, brothers dwelling together, okay? You know, and you sleep in the same house. I, I know that my daughter told me I snore a lot. I guess I did. You do. And I guess, I don't know if Pastor did too or not, but he was on the couch a lot, so I'm not sure what happened. So, again, we're dwelling together, you know. Things like that happen. You know, the ancient Israelites were commanded to ascend towards Jerusalem and attend festival, like this pilgrimage festival called the Passover, Pentecost, also to the tabernacle. They ascend together, okay? They're dwelling together as they ascend. You can imagine, like, hundreds of thousands of people on the road to Jerusalem. Many cultures, many different places. People and camels and donkeys, family, they all are sinning. They're moving out to Jerusalem, ascending there, and they have to live together. Sometimes they make camp. You know, they eat, they share the same food. And they all come from different backgrounds, different jobs, and the poor, the rich, all together on the same road. Sometimes these pilgrims' roads can take months and sometimes weeks. You can see these people making camp at night, dwelling close together. You know, the sweat of the day, the hotness. You know, sometimes we stink. Mm -hmm. When you dwell together, after all those road marches, we stink sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, we Christian people, we're Christian, but sometimes we do stink when mm -hmm. we live together. This is, you see, this unity of people, it's not a unity of people that enjoy going to just a good festival. This is not a unity of people that likes to go fishing or a unity of people that enjoys playing volleyball. This is a unity of people ascending in holiness, okay? For there, God commands his blessing. Yeah. It is a holy nation. Going together, mm -hmm. David had this unity until he took his eyes off of God. Mm -hmm. And what he put his eyes on? A naked woman bathing on the roof, which led to murder and led to the kingdom being ripped apart. 
God did not command his blessing on an unholy unity. Mm. Verse 2, it says, It is precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down on the collar of his robe. This unity has to, be, has to have some type of foundation. That foundation is none other than the high priest, the Messiah, the anointed one, the, no other than Jesus Christ. Yeah. This unity among brothers is not good and only pleasant, mm -hmm. but it's a unity founded on Jesus Christ, and it's a unity of holiness. Mm -hmm. Verse 3 is that it is a dew. It is as dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion. Mm -hmm. For there the Lord bestowed his blessing, mm -hmm. even life forevermore. Dew. You know what dew is in Kamai? Kalikay, dew. What? Yeah, dew. Think sound. Okay, think sound. See, dew can only be created at the right condition, at the right attitude. Altitude, I'm sorry. Altitude, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, the blessing of unity is a gift of God. When we ascend upward in holiness, mm -hmm. as we dwell living among each other, we, we will have challenges. The road is long and it's hot and it's dirty. And let's face it, we all stink sometime. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, some Christians stink more than others. <laughs> but this is where all comes in. The oil of the Holy Spirit is the yeah. blessing that co that covers our stinkness. Mm -hmm. Some needs more than others. But remember that this unity is not based on any one or any ministry. It is a unity as whose foundation is built upon the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ alone. As we march, let us keep our eyes focused and fixed on, on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Let us learn from David what happened when we take your eyes off of, of Christ and put it on something else flesh. Let us learn what happened to King Saul. Out of jealousy, he took his eyes off of God and kept a close watch on David mm -hmm. with a spear in his hand. Mm -hmm. My question to you is this. What do your eyes focus on today? Is it Jesus or someone else? Or is it on yourself? Is it on a ministry? It has to be on Jesus alone. Yes. Or else this holy tree can, cannot work. Mm -hmm. Okay? And Proverbs says, my son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ears to my words. Do not let them out of my sight. Keep them within your heart. For they are life yes. to those who find them. And hell to one's whole body. Above all else, guard your heart. For everything you do, flow from it. Mm -hmm. Keep your mouth free from perversity. Keep corrupt talk far from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. And if I may be honest, I didn't, I didn't want to be at that conference. I was ready to come home. Mm -hmm. You know, half my family wasn't there. I really couldn't see the reason for the conference. I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. I had a really bad attitude, to tell you the truth, okay? Mm -hmm. I did. I, I was going through the motion. My heart was not there. I even tried to stay home Friday night, and I was like, Lydia, can we, can we just stay? I don't want to go. I'll make an excuse or something. I'm tired. I'm dirty. I'm sweaty. We play volleyball. I couldn't understand why. What, what are we doing, you know? She's like, Dad, look. Dad, I have to sing. I have to be there. And the same thing. I'm on schedule to do something that night. Uh, and I'm like, I'm trying to whip out this thing, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> At this point, I said, fine, you know, we'll go. But I'm not doing the icebreaker game. I'm just not doing it. <laughs> but thank God for his grace. Yes. For it yes. is sufficient yes. when you are weak. Amen, amen. So while I ate, I was refreshed. I did what I was supposed to do. Uh -huh. Thanks to Lydia and thanks to God the Father. Amen. After service, we all made it back to the house. We showered. Mm -hmm. We sat around the table, and we ate together. We sat around and talked to around midnight. Mm -hmm. It was here that God revealed to me what the conference was all about. Yeah. It was never about the destination. It was about the journey. Yes. In the journey is where the blessing is found. It is intimate. It is holy love for one another. Mm -hmm. When brothers and sisters open their hearts and truly love one another. Yes. <laughs> this is where God commands his blessing. Thank you, me. <laughs> the blessing of unity is only given. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> when we truly love one another. Yes. Amen. That's right. Look around you. We're on a journey. Yes. If you accepted Jesus Christ, then you're ascending and you're on your way. Yes. <clears throat> Jesus died so that we can have this intimate, loving relationship yes. with him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Sorry. Thank you, Lord. But this is why we were created. Yes. To have intimate, loving relationship with God Amen. and we're with each other. Amen. In John 17, Jesus prayed to God the Father, and I, I close with this. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may want, that all of them may, may want, Father, just as you in me and I am in you. Yes. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you have gave me, Hallelujah. that they may be one as we are one. I and them and you and me so that they may be brought to complete unity. Then the world will know yes. that you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Okay, boy. I am a Q&A 
ຈຳນວນຫນ່ວຍເກສູຖ້າຕາ <coughs> ស្ទេងមួយដើម្បីយើងមកជួបជុំគ្នាមកឆ្នាំមកដងឬទីដងហើយអស្បាយនេះបងប្អូនធៀវទៅទីនតនឯងនេះហើយជាគោលដៅ ចំណុចហ្នឹងថ្ងៃមួយនឹងយល់ឯងគ្មានអីសបាយជាងនៅជួបជុំគ្នាមនុស្សយើងអត់ចង់នៅតែឯងអត់ចង់បែកចង់ន